All right, we're back. More Elden Ring. Yep, I am aware. EAC is disabled, so. As I'm pretty sure I say that at the beginning of most sessions, although I break up the sessions into smaller episodes, so. Um, we'll be continuing. Right from where we left off. The session seven. I do believe, I do believe. All right. So I hope everyone's having a good day and enjoying the old Elden Ring. I'm going to try bumping up my 1440 by 900. I think I'm supposed to have... Yeah, we'll set that. Quality setting. I. Um, have not been applied. Let's see how that affects the frame rate. Around 30. It's dropping below 30 at moments. Excuse me. Some changes have not been applied. It's still not super great. I'll set it back to this, which is what it was at before. I'm not going to find a happy medium, not until I get a better graphics card. All right, we'll run, we'll run with this. It's hard for me to tell based on the OBS preview, but I have seen the first episode go up on YouTube. So I was thinking it could make it look a little bit nicer. And having the mod also helps too, so. Speaking of which, we did get an update. So let me see, running around. Let me see if the update bugged out the mod. Doesn't appear that's the case. I can still see my horse just fine, even dipping below into the mid-twenties. Alright, so, been a couple of days. I think. Let's we'll see what those dogs are up to. But after that, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go after that grafted creature. The one lady referred to him as a spider in Stormvale. And I don't know if that is Godric the Grafted or like just another Grafted. There we go. All right, doggies. Ah, got me surrounded. Didn't get a heal for that, which is fine. I was kind of hoping I would. That's not the shiny thing I was looking at, is it? That's probably just a golden rune. Yes, just a golden rune. No, it's this thing here. Rainbow stone. Okay, nice. I think I can just craft a bunch of those on my own if I wanted, but... Stuff is going on. Oh, this is where that one giant was sitting, isn't it? Yeah, he's sitting right there. So there's a chest I could get there. I did. I do remember walking around that carriage. I probably could have gotten that chest then. Let's take a quick look around. Just to see if there's anything else of use. I can't tell if that's an enemy or an NPC or someone that's alive. There's dogs, there's a giant. I haven't actually fought one of those giants yet. They could be super tough or they could be like the golems and they're not being very tough at all. Where are these guys? The 
misbegotten, I think is what they're called. Oh, there's another couple of dogs. There's a few of them here. I'm... Wow, that was a miss. Got you. I got 95 arrows. And I'm pretty sure I have more in the bank as well. Oh, there's Lost Grace up there. Hey, little doggy. And there's one of those... Is that a Trina lily? Or is that something else? Aha. Man, having the gyro controls makes the short bow so much handier. I know gyro controls are a very decisive topic among especially among PC gamers. But having played Splatoon and what was that? Is that something shooting at me? Something is going on here that I'm not aware of. Oh. Something up in that tower shooting down? Yes. Is it a friend? <laughs> oh, they're too busy cowering. Oh, those must those guys must be on the edge of the range of whatever that was. Oh, it's a ballista up there. I see it. Hmm. So is it? There must be a like one of the soldier or one of the infantry men behind that ballista. There's those. There's those kind of NPCs, like those and those humanoids that aren't quite soldiers in full gear, but they're helping the soldiers. They're not just the torch wielding undead either. Hmm. I rest here and then get back up. Those guys that just died over there, well, yeah, they respond. And then Ballista just kills them again. If I'm understanding this situation correctly. Unless it aims for me, which is always a possibility. have very poor aim at that ballista. Oh, interesting. Oh! <laughs> he got distracted by the fact that their friend died over there. I'm probably not going to go into this area, because I will probably get shot by the Ballista next. And instead, I'm going to go towards the Ballista. Was that one of those? Oh, it's poison. That's what that is. Oh. It's poison, then. Earthly flower. Oh, there's a few of those. I'm gonna go back. But rather than, you know, waste a poison, or whatever those are called, poison bulbs, green bulbs, I'm just gonna go back and sit at that Lost Grace. Rainer's coming up here to join me. How are you doing, buddy? I hope you're not sitting on the power button for my computer. That'll make this an interesting video. Hello. How are you doing? 
not showing up on camera right now, but maybe he will in a moment. Just wants to chill. Just fine with me. I'll give me some space. Oh, no, never mind. Didn't quite feel right, I guess. Sorry, buddy. Maybe next time. Alright, so... Let's go do something about that ballista. And then do some more exploring down here. <laughs> Getting free souls just from hanging out here. Hmm. The dog doesn't even care. I was like, well, back to food. Oh, you missed me. Oh, well, that time you didn't. I need to do... not do the double sh swing when I'm dealing with those dogs. Because they tend to back up in between swing swings. Golden rune. That was kind of not worth it. Another golden rune. Yeah, that's it. Why is it giving me the option to summon? Is there a tougher enemy here that I haven't seen yet? Oh, there's that guy up there. He's just chilling. Like, he could easily see me. Whoa! He's got he's one of those. I see. And there's a dog here. No, I did it again. Here we go. Yeah, the double swings don't work well against the dogs. Climb up here. There you are. Hello. <laughs> did I have iframes on my jump? Yeah, it did, and I just never noticed before. Anyway, let's take out this, this ballista dude. He like, yep, sorry buddy. You don't have a license to operate that. Oh, doesn't even notice I'm here. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, it's a shame you can't use it yourself. What have you got? And a ballista. Ballista bolt. Wait, how large is this? Can I even wield it? I cannot wield it, because it takes 30 strength. An unconventional ballistic device modeled on a weapon used to besiege castles. Only capable of firing great bolts. Perfect for reckless acts, such as storming a castle or facing an entire enemy alone. <laughs> and it comes with a kick. Just out of curiosity. Yep, it is quite large. It has decent range. I would expect it to have much better range than that, but, I mean, that's still pretty good for what you might want to use it for. I've never used this, either. Well, I'm grateful. Yeah, see, look at this. This, this is ridiculous. And it does it. yeah, it does that. Okay. Alright, cool. Oh, I'm going to go back to my short bow. I'm a simple bandit. 
They don't need, like, oversized ranged weapons. For... Not yet, anyway. There may come a time. It's down here, anyway. Nothing. Nothing, tra la la. Yeah, nothing. Okay. That's just another way to get in, I guess. If I, if you didn't want to hop up the side of the wall. Oh. Yeah, not all of those guys died. Ooh, that is not an infinite fall. But an enough of a fall that you don't want to go down that way. I'm just gonna sneak past these guys. I'm not looking for a fight. Not with them, at least. That is still too far. Okay, well. Change of plans. We're gonna have a fight. Oh, they're still cowering for their lives. I can use that to my advantage. Now, is there anything else? No, it was just those two. Ooh, he has a falchion. Hey! That's actually a good weapon for me. BD scaling. Dexterity 13. Now. In the original Dark Souls, you can have a scimitar and you can have a falchion. If I'm remembering correctly, a falchion was just like a scimitar, but a bit larger. Doesn't... S maybe it's a little bit... Maybe this falchion is a little bit larger than the scimitar you can get? Do that. You can do another swing like that, the spin attack. Same one that you get with the scimitar. You no longer get, like, the press forward jump attack. Like you used to. You can do that. Okay, that's your heavy. That's your heavy followed by normal. do we do a heavy and followed by a charged heavy it does that back up you do that jumping heavy okay I might stick with the flail for now but it's good to have that as an option I'm not sure if it's really it is better than the forked hatchet if I want to go that way if I want to go for a non-bleeding weapon. Because basically all my all my normal weapons are bleeding right now. My flail, my great knife. The only thing that doesn't bleed is my short bow. Okay. You're just natural life. I feel like I've killed a couple of birds. I don't need to kill any additional birds if I don't have a reason to. Who's that? Oh, that's a body. I thought that was like an imp or something sitting in a funny position. That might be a slime. I mean, I guess any enemy at a distance might look like a slime if you can't really tell what shape it's in. Okay. Well, let's investigate a little bit more. Oh, hello. Almost didn't see you. Oh. Ah, dang it. You know what? Oh, there's another one. Ooh, these guys are red eyes. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have moved in without healing first. Why do they have red eyes? 
because it's nighttime? Or are these guys different? Ooh, yeah, they hit hard. Okay, got you. Ooh, okay, that was a fail parry. You didn't move back far enough. Okay, well, I got one of my healing back. Which is kind of... It's good because... It's, it's it almost makes... It, it gives you a huge advantage because not only does it give you back healing, which is something you could only get back, like at bonfires in previous Dark Souls games, but also it means... You know you can only get that healing if you've defeated a group of enemies, so... You know that you're relatively safe. There's no hidden enemies there. I guess maybe I don't know that for sure. Hey. It's a glowing tree. What is going on here? What's up with that? Oh, those are wildlife. Am I going to get ganked if I stand by this? Salmon. Oh. Oh. Air materials. Okay, buddy. You're a ghost who has some unfinished business? Is that someone's camp? I just totally... Pass by. So, okay, buddy. Are you a ghost that's trying to trick me into falling to my death? If so, I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. Wait, where did you go? Oh, there you are. For a minute I was thinking, it's too bad you can't swim. And then I realized, wait, no, it's a good thing you can't swim in this game. Can you imagine how complicated the gameplay would be if you suddenly just had the ability to swim? Alright, so, this is where they were leading me. Earth Boar Cave. I'm assuming this is the start of a new dungeon. Ah, let's sit down. Replenish our flask. In the game and in real life. I was... I really was planning to go back to Stormvale Castle. I'm not sure if I will right now, though. I want to explore this dungeon a little bit. That chest kind of appeared out of nowhere. Oof, fuck me! <laughs> I stopped at just the right moment, didn't I? What the hell? I was like, I just wanted to stop and take a look at, closer look at that chest before I got close to it. I was suspicious of the chest. I wasn't thinking that, oh, there's a false floor here. Okay. Chests aren't usually this tall, though, in this game, are they? Pickled turtleneck. Well, that was to that totally would have been worth it. Oh, this is gonna get dark in here. Okay. Was that chest illuminating this room? I think it was. Well, let us. I'm gonna take off my bow and put on my steel wire torch. Here we go. This is the one that allows us to spit fire. Eh. 
and I'll function that. I'll functionate this summoning pool, even though it doesn't actually help me in offline. There's a ratty. A couple of ratties. Maybe I should switch to my switch back to my bow. You know what? Do that, that, and that. Okay, good. I'm still on medium load. You. There's another ready. You gonna come for me? Or you're gonna make me come to you? But if I come to come to it, then probably gonna be another rat right around the corner. Nope, I stand corrected. Golden rune. Ooh, and moss. Ooh, cave moss. If I remember correctly, I think that's part of the reason why the Animorphs left David on that one island full of rats. Because they were, they were eating the moss or something like that. So they knew that he would survive by eating moss. That's a larger rat. That's look. That must be the rat I saw from below. Can't even see what I'm aiming it at. I think this is a rat. Nope. Okay. Oh. Got you. Oh no, you're not dead. Ooh. They attack just about as fast as I attack with the flail. So if they stagger me, I need to move back. There's a couple. It's actually kind of odd that lock-on works this well in the dark. That trigger both of them? No, just the one. Got you. Alright, big rat. Are you the big ma rat that makes all the rules? Oh, that only hit you once. Ooh. You have a slightly different moveset than your normal rats, friends. Nice. Bleeding. Bleeding is nice. Especially against those chunky enemies like that. Big chunky health bars. Excuse me. Because I'm pretty sure it says in the game, but... Bleeding does, doesn't just do an extra chunk of damage. It takes a percentage that very... Like, that is proportional to your health bar. So it does more damage overall to an enemy with a larger health bar. So it's like, if it does 20% damage to a low health enemy, it does 20% damage to a high health enemy, I think. Which is a big... You know, it's helpful against low health enemies, but it's much more helpful against big enemies. More rats, okay, well... We're probably not done with a large rat, either. Oh. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, Just resting against my arm? Is it because you want attention? 
Or is it because you want food? I know what you're thinking. It's not time yet. Not time for that yet. Ooh, Kukri. Nova's making eyes at me. Wants her S-U-P-P-E-R. A little early for that now. It is... A little over an hour away. Ooh, is this a one-way... This is a one-way fall. I mean, I can always teleport, but... Can I teleport in the dungeon like this? I cannot. Interesting. Okay. What is... Still, I got lots of healing. Is there anything else I want to do to investigate before I go further? I think that's pretty much it for this room. Yeah. Okay. Well, unless this is... It seems conspicuously... No, okay. It's just an, it's just an extra little cranny. Unless it becomes an exit or something like that later on. Alright, let's do it. Ooh. We got a decent amount of runes. If I found a monstrous hell beast in here that it, an unbeatable monstrous hell beast. I probably would not come back for these 1,500 runes. I hear something, though. I think I see something just around the corner. There's nothing over there, I don't think. What's this? giant bear or something, isn't it? Come on. It's late enough in here. The dogs are barking. I don't know if you can hear. Okay, well. It's another one of those little marker things. I don't know what they're for. Rune bear. Oh, this isn't just a normal bear. It's a rune bear. Okay. Can I? Oh, I can't escape. No, this is this is just a normal boss fight. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's pick stuff up. Ooh, I was about to pick something else up. I don't know what it was, though. I'm just... Just phasing... The camera's just phasing through because the bear is so large. <laughs> I'll give the bear another try. I will run past these braddies. Okay. And I have wandering nobles. Just load up on silver fireflies. Okay, so he'll probably wake up as soon as I'm entering this time. Alright. Alright, boys. You have to let me through, though. Hey! Okay! That charge attack does not give you much of a chance to avoid it. Okay. Ooh, 
he just, whatever that marker was, he just broke it. So apparently that's a thing. Green as Lily. Can't say it was worth it, but fuck it. A bandit should not be tanking this many hits. I'm not gonna kill him. Not this run. Whoa. Okay. That's cool. Could this be doable? Okay, here goes another one of my boys. There goes me. And there's my last boy. I feel like the bear is doable. But man, is it going to be a messy fight. And I'm just going to be tanking hits the whole time and getting thrown around. Alright. Change up our strategy. Rain draped tabard. I really, I haven't really used that. It is slightly better than the bandit garb. Is it noisy though? It doesn't seem particularly noisy. And it is better than the bandit garb in every way. Except for Slash and Pierce where it's the same. And wait where it's heavier. Fuck. I might as well just stick with this. Doesn't look very nice, though. Not very fashion soulsy of me. But we'll go with that. The gauntlets. The greaves. We're on heavy load now. The soldier greaves. We'll go with that. Yeah, but we'll have to take off the torch. We do okay if we do the normal torch that's a medium load i don't need the torch for the fight but i will need it for just the running through can i just drop down here as a shortcut without getting hurt find out yeah <laughs> the rats don't seem to care or at least they're very slow to react Silver fireflies. All right, here we go. We'll do this position this way so they don't trap me in like they did last time. Okay, let's grab the runes. Like I said, it's not the end of the world if I don't get those runes back, but if I can get them back, Attack the butt. Whoa. Okay. I have one boy left, and I am taking a beating. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. All right. Didn't do nearly as well as it did last time. 